Sifu! Aftermath! Alam natin lahat kung ano nangyari sa episode 6. Nagkalaglagan! Right? Well, bottom line of the, um, of the episode storyline is this. Ron, Koki, and Shuta, well, practically hindi nagpapakilamanan. But the only thing is, Shuta, uh, is totally clueless about this. The, the storyline now focuses on on uh, what well, on Shuta's daily life. So he's trying to master this, uh, master their bakery's uh, signature bread, yung Golden Sunrise. It's actually a creation of his father. Eh, nagbabakasyon ngayon ng airport niya sa France, sa Paris. So he's now left to 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 make this bread on his own. Hindi niya makuha kasi yung mga bata uh, nakakala, nakalata na ano eh na iba yung lase. Ibang-iba yung lasa from before. Eh, he's trying to find ways now on uh, on how to perfect Golden Sunrise. Even to the point na looking at uh, looking at boobs where at every chance he gets. So, nakalata to nila ni Nokosue, ni Mari, and si uh, Tsuzurugawa. Yung, 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 yung assistant ni yung assistant ni Koki na napaka-sexy. <laughs> Before that, a call came from Kosue, kay Shuta, eh, nagsumbong yung bata. Yung graffiti uh, that was a tribute to her father na, na, na mentor ng tatlong bida na vandalize. Ang ang pumalit ngayon doon yung graffiti ni Carnades. Vowed to the kid na hahanapin niya ngayon si Carnades. So, he's now a baker by day, hunter by night. Hindi niya mahanap si Carnades. So, um, Napansin ng isang taga-sard na na kakilala nila eh. Uh, that he's, uh, he looks dead tired. That uh, he should give up on this. Uh, all, all possible negativity. He threw at Shuta but Shuta would have none of it. So, one day, um, nag-decide siya na magpahinga muna sa public bath. So, nagtaka nga si si Hina ko kung bakit? Hindi lumalabas si Shuta. Ang tagal. So, eh nakita niya na, uy, nowhere in sight. So, doon siya nakalata na, uy, mukhang nalunod na. So, yun nga, nakatulog sa ilalim ng tubig si, si Shuta. Then, um, tamang-tama, to the rescue si Erpat, yung father ni Shuta. Nakararating lang from Paris. Doon niya, doon siya nagkaroon ng aha moment. Ah, Ganun pala dapat. So, the next day, he worked on on the kneading of the bread that will that will uh, that will give that will give birth to golden sunrise. E sabi niya, ah, nag-gets ko na, Mari. Kailangan pala, kailangan pala kasi ko yung pecs ko, yung pectorals. Dito pala nang gagaling yung yung energy ng golden sunrise. But, eventually, ayun, nagustuhan ng mga bata yung kanyang version ng golden sunrise. Final scene. Pop! It's actually a post-credit. Before that, um, yung batang unang, yung unang pumintas dun sa version niya ng Golden Sunrise, bigay siya ng information on on who actually, uh, kasi ito yata, ito pala yung nakakita dun sa, sa nag-vandalize sa tribute kay, kay, kay Mr. Kaba. Siya pala nakakita. Eh, sabi niya, tinuro niya ngayon kay Shuta kung saan tumutuloy yung nag-vandalize yun. Sabi niya, ah, Kuya Shuta, dyan, dyan ko nakita kong, dyan ko nakita pumasok yung taong yun. Dyan, baka pwede mo siya sundan dyan. Eh, eh pasalam na si Shuta. So, punta siya, which, led, which now led to the final scene. He now comes face to face with the real Carnades, si Zeroth pala. And he's back in 24th Ward. Ang mentor ni Ran. 
Ah, uh, lifestyle. Let's break that episode down now. Critics of style. Base. To sum it all up, right now, I am totally flabbergasted with the pacing of this episode. Bakit? Maraming flashback sequences, pero, um, these were the only times na bumilis ang pacing. Talagang, Cloverworks, um, probably thought of, probably thought of, nako, nawala tayo ng one week eh. So, yung flashback sequences, bilisan natin. Pero yung main continuity, um, gawing sakto ng yung pacing. Yup, and they did. It was beautifully done. Kasi, kung tutusin nyo, hindi dapat magtagal lang isang story sa isang flashback sequence or side story or back story, whatever. You need to finish that as as soon as possible without boring the audience to hell. And it wasn't boring actually. So, right now, I'm telling you guys, I am totally flabbergasted by the pacing of this episode. It was beautifully done. Flow naman. Well, first gear shift here was when Cosway, uh, was when Cosway called Shuta about, yeah, uh, about this, uh, about this Carnatic thing. Why did I call it a gear shift? At this point in the episode, Shuta was getting bored as hell. Bored as fuck. Dahil, unang-unang sa lahat, hin- up to now, hindi niya makausap si Ran or, or si Koki. O kahit na sinisenda niya ng, ng photo si Koki about, about the Carnades issue, wala eh. Walang bumabalik na reply. This call by Kosue, yeah, practically uh, reawakened the hero in Shuta. Bottom line, why did I call us a gearship, mga ka-lifestyle? Simple lang. It's a call to arms moment for one of the main protagonists. Excuse me. Second gear shift was when uh, the public bat scene where Shuta just just doses off in the middle of his bath. Why did I call it a gear shift? Well, it just goes to show you um, that Shuta is still dedicated to the cause. Final gear shift is of course the final scene. So, well, it's the type of gear shift that will make you think na, ano to, magiging magkakampi pa to, magkaaway. Parang ganun eh. Kasi bitin eh. Bitin, binitin tayong lahat dun eh. So these three gear shifts that I saw, the last two, will play a role in a, um, will play a role in the second half of this anime, of this anime's run. Tandaan nyo, episode 7 na. So we're now in the second half of this anime's run. Boy, next week, road to the finale na. So, you can say that this is a pivotal episode. Plot-wise, di mo masasabi malinis. Dahil, sa dami na, uh, I saw at least three flashback sequences here. But, um, it was it was well paced. All of them were well paced and well timed. Kaya planchado ang plot mga ka lifestyle. Kasi the plot was so well ironed out that if you're new to anime, you wouldn't you, you wouldn't notice that this is a flashback sequence. Dahil sa bilis niya and sa on how yeah on how concise some of them were to the storyline kasi what well, inamin na mismo ni Shuta rito he's not good at thinking <laughs> so it just goes to show you through the the, uh, the well ironed out plot of this episode that Shuta is ragging his brain because of this Karnyadis issue isa na lang eh Hindi naman niya maasahan si Rakoki at Ran. Because he knows very well that these two are at odds with each other right now. They're on opposite sides of the law. So, 
How can how can he take down Karnadis himself? So that's the um, that's the big question here when it comes to Shuta. That's what the plot will make you realize. Kaya ganong 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 kaplanchado ang plot ng episode nato. So pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. So, Tokyo 24th Ward, Episode 7. Yeah, undeniable. Two thumbs up. Mainly because of the pacing and the plot. I told you a while ago, mga kalaista. I am flabbergasted at the pacing of this episode. Talagang, pag flashback sequence, quick and concise. Pag main continuity, yeah, we got we gotta slow things down a bit. We gotta build it up until the final scene. So, ang kinalabasan isang isang uh, napakaplanchadong plot. Kaya usually animation studios from coming from a break like this would would put out an episode that um. So so, but not for this anime. Talagang, um, it really made me feel that um, that Shuta is still keeping the faith. Is still keeping that hero flame alive. Kaya, um, hindi nakikipag usap sa kanya sila Koki at Ran, and he doesn't know why. So, we'll just have to cheer for Shuta from from now on, right? We don't know kung anong klaseng kung anong klaseng character ito talagang si Zero. Okay? Also known as Carnades. Why is he doing this? Why is he hacking? Why is he um, why is he hacking through this message? Why is he vandalizing even to the point of of um, over overwriting the, graf the the graffiti tribute to Mr. Kaba? Eh, kaya nga, kaya nga na-piss off sa kanya si, si Shuta eh, in the first place. That's why he took it upon himself to, uh, to hunt him down. To hunt Karnadis down himself. Ayun, which eventually led to the final scene. Kaya, magiging kapanapanabik uli ang anime na to because of this episode. So again, Tokyo 24th Ward, episode 7. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for this anime, Mama Lifestyle. Wow, welcome back, 24th. And, kakambi pa to ka away si Zero. So, Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, chill lang! <laughs>